uh, then I want to set the videos with an height value. So I'll just say video dot width equals stage dot stage width, and then I'll do the same for the height. Okay. So now that we have a video region to actually work with, let's let's set the files correct path. So I'll, see, I'll say fi file equals file dot resolve path um, and then we'll feed in the um, ffmpeg path. So we'll say ffmpeg underscore path and then what we're going to do is we're going to call the function or the method that we created called play within our uh, play any video um, class. So we'll just say play. There it is. And if you remember it needed a file, a video, and a region and a, a path to the file that you want to play or to the video that you want to play. So the file that we've created here is called file. That's our file to the FFmpeg. Uh, then we created a region called video and then we created a path called video underscore path. We're going to feed that in. For the first time, let's run the code and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so what I might do is run the code in debug and see if we okay so this is native process not supported so if you remember correctly we we set that up in here we said if the native process is supported then you know carry out your executions if not trace that out so why wouldn't it be well this is this is because within your um, application descriptor fire file you have to set um, you have to set the supported profile to extended desktop in order to use native process. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right away here. I'll just erase these other guys because I don't need it. So I'll just set it as an extended desktop. Save that. Okay, so we'll run the code again. And there it is. Great. Okay, so there, there's the um, MOV file working. Wonderful. So if we head back over here, let's try some of the other uh, formats here and make sure that they all work. So the second one was an AVI, so I'll just say bounce to space dot AVI. Check that one out. There it is. So that one works. Let's try uh, one was this is like elephant dreams or something. Dot o -G -B. Save that. Check this out. This is a bit of a random format. I'm not, I'm not really too familiar with OGB, but it seems to work as well, so that's cool. Um, let's see, am I getting sound here? Yep, I'm getting sound. It seems like a pretty compressed um, format. It might be for web or something. Um, okay, so the last one was Sintel dot MKV, and uh, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of MKV, so I'm looking forward to seeing if this is going to work, and it does, and it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, excellent. What brings you to the land of the gatekeepers? Okay, so there you have it. Um, I'm sorry if this video took a really long time, but that is a very quick look at getting um, more formats supported in uh, the Flash Player or in your Adobe Air application using FFmpeg. Thanks for watching.